And joining me now from Beijing is Einar Tanjin. He's a current affairs commentator. Uh, Einar, thanks for joining us. So why a letter when he's made so many phone calls to other world leaders in the last couple of weeks? Does it take out the possibility of some sort of diplomatic misstep? Well, Elaine, I would agree with that last statement. Uh, I think a controlled message when you're dealing with China is very important. I, I think uh, it's very interesting to see how Donald Trump is setting the table here. He's establishing very wide bookends. On one, one side, you have Jared Kushner, his trusted son-in-law, who is having diplomatic um, tete-a-tetes with the ambassador of China to the U.S., and you have the incoming ambassador uh, from Iowa, an old acquaintance of Xi Jinping. But on the other side, you have Navarro, Tillerson, Flynn, and Bannon, who have uh, been very, very, uh, let us say, uh, anti-China. So in that particular respect, everyone is waiting to see which side wins out. It's kind of a palace intrigue. So China is looking for the best, but I hope in, in some ways preparing for the worst. Well, and that being said, as you mentioned, it's a lot to keep up with. Um, the, there's a lot of back and forth. Chinese Foreign Ministry welcomed this letter. What do you make of the Chinese response and how this is going over there? Well, I, I think China is trying to show sincerity. This has been a brutal couple of weeks for Donald Trump, and this is really the first good reaction that he's had from any country. Uh, to any of his advances, and it might mean that there will be fewer phone calls and more letters because they seem to be working well for him. Uh, he spent a lot more time on his Twitter accounts regarding his daughter's affairs and other things than he spent perhaps uh, communicating with China. So maybe the, it is time that he's getting down to serious business. I think the Chinese uh, officials in Beijing are hoping that that is the case. Do you think then that the Trump administration has been rethinking and shifting uh, their approach to China? And, and when do you think we'll see something more, maybe face-to-face -face contact between the new president of the United States and the president of China? Well, it should be coming up fairly soon. It's a very important point. I think uh, one thing you have to keep in mind is that Donald Trump came out of the blocks literally firing at everybody. His trusted trade, uh, his biggest trade partners, his most trusted allies, and I, I think he is kind of reassessing, or hopefully reassessing that. In terms of the future, uh, I would expect something in the next couple of weeks: a phone call, a very controlled one, in which the points have been pre-discussed, and perhaps even Jared Kushner sitting in on the sidelines to make sure that things go well. I think there's an understanding that's creeping into uh, Trump's administration on Obamacare. He realizes it's going to take more than a year. Uh, a lot of the programs that he thought he could launch immediately, uh, obviously, are going to take time. And dealing with China and figuring out the relationship is going to be one of those uh, issues. All right, Einar Tangent, thanks for joining us. We always appreciate your take on things.